Okay, this is At the Zoo by Simon and Garfunkel. Um, you can skip forward to about three minutes if you want to see the how-to. This is, I'll just play it first though. Someone told me it's all happening at the zoo. I do believe it. I do believe it's true. Synchronization. The zoo. The zoo. Start the lesson out with that bass line just so you understand what's going on there. You go on the G, on the uh, third fret, low E, you go two, open twice, then two, three. So you're playing the G chord, you're going. So it's G to E minor, but you're doing that bass line in the middle of it. So you're going to... So that F sharp. That F sharp is an essential passing chord or note or whatever you want to call it for the thing. Um, also, there's the part where elephants are kindly, but they're dumb. So that bass line is a D chord. So you hit the D chord and the D note kind of at the same time. You go, then you hit the D note again. So it's kind of, so you hit it twice. Then you go to the third fret, A string, second fret, A string, A string open, then G on the, uh, the third fret on the E string, then two, a open, then G. So, a dum, something like that. You can you can actually improvise that any way you want, just as long as you're doing kind of these notes. You know where I don't know exactly what the notes are, but the, I I improvise it and play it differently almost every time. So. Now let's get to the intro. You flatten your finger across four strings on the second fret on the bottom, and you put your pinky on the fourth fret. I guess it's called an A sus. And you kind of pick the A, from the A, the low A, through these strings here you go. 
Someone told me it's all happening. Then on the word at, you put your third finger down on the third fret. You got at the zoo. That's an A7. Then you go to D7. I do believe it. Then you take your index off. I do believe it. Then you do a G. I do believe it's true. That's all the moves there is to this song, um, other than there is this little interlude in the, in the middle where they flatten across here and play kind of... And then you go to the B string 3 and the D string 4 and you hit the low E. Then you hit the A note. That's so that's kind of those cute little jazzy chords. 